how's it going? Welcome back to another Will and... Oh. oh, he's finally arrived. Today, we're going to be watching Sun and Suspicious Parents. I'm terrified to title this, but I thought there's just too much potential for her not to do it. So we're just going to press upload and hope. Sorry, are we starting? Yep. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the video, James. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Will and Jim. Today, we're watching... <laughs> No, I can't say that. It's the first 30 seconds. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. So do you do you know what the crack is with this program? Do you know what it's about? I think I do. Because I, I, it's one of those programs that was around in the noughties, wasn't it? I think it was more early 2010s, kind of like in between us type era. They get a bunch of unsuspecting 18 year olds, right? They tell them that they're going to go and film like a documentary about that big lad's holiday. And actually they stiff them and bring their mom and dad along too. And then wheel them out at the end. The first bit of footage that I saw was of you smashed out your face in the middle of the... It's not funny, Reese. Hi. Look at me. It's probably the best teleconcept I've ever came across, ever. But what they couldn't possibly have guessed is that their parents are coming too. Realistically, though, if we're talking logically about this program, if you go out and you're like, yeah, I want to be part of a, a big documentary where I show how, la how much of a lad I am, your parents are going to see that. The best thing about this is they all deserve it for being this stupid to sign up. In Loughborough, only child James Warren is getting some holiday tips from his parents. Oh, God, those wallpapers. How many people have died in that house? It's amazing how much you can tell just from that one shot. Like, I already know a lot about these three individuals. With money in his pocket, James is hoping his week away will boost his confidence with the girls. I'm shy around girls because I think... So, hang on. Shy around girls, psychopath-looking parents. What part of this big Venn diagram made you sign up for this? I wouldn't be surprised if we looked up this man now and he's murdered someone. And they might, it might be his parents. Or some pussy. <laughs> In Loughborough, James is picking up his crew. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> this takes me back. Oh, mate. This is going to be next level. Fresh from the Navy, Dan the Man. Dan the Man. He's wearing the headphone shirt. Look, he's wearing the headphone shirt. I can't visualize whether he still needs his mum or not. Well, you can because you're going with him. The parents are knackers, too. James, who's never had a girlfriend, is on a mission to meet girls. A lot of totty about that, aren't there? Oh. Oh, God, that makes me want to be sick. Lot of dirty. I was thinking James might tense up and have nothing to say, but James didn't have that. He was on it. Pete, could you not have got a trim before you headed out there, fella? <laughs> it looks like he's wearing a hat. We've had a few drinks, and hopefully we'll go on to the next one, find somewhere decent in the strip, find a bit more totty. Totty? Oh, God. It's funny because they think they get the documentary made about them being massive drinking shaggots. Totty? With a bit of Dutch courage, James has found himself a girl. And this could be the big chance for his first ever kiss. I've met... I've met... I've met Sam. Can you imagine just try having a night out in, like, Santi, Magaloffa? There's a f***ing TV camera. So this man has never had sex. We're here to help him have sex. Would you like to have sex with this man? Yes! Look at it. He just swoons. She went in for that. He didn't chase that. He went for the hug and she went into that. I want to try and yeah. get the girl while I'm here. Yeah. And man of the world Rob has a few tips. I want to see you get for your first time ever. It's a weird thing to want to watch, Rob. Yeah, from the closet or what? Parked at the top of the strip, Tony and Ornella are on stakeout. Oh my God, they're live on the scene. Just meters from the lads and James. <laughs> She's died. As James nears the lap dancing club, he gets just what he doesn't want. A call from mum and dad. James, where are we going, uh, by the way? Uh, where are we going? So we're at, we're Shh, not yet. Where are we going? Uh, we're off to the library. Having a nice time. Yeah, to the library. But, look, I'll pass you over to me, mum, OK? <laughs> Away. <laughs> this is a parody. I love it so much. James, are you alright? I'm really pleased I'm here and I'm absolutely, I'm really, really happy. Oh I really God. am. Oh, yeah, anyway, I've got, got to go because I'm going to go to the library. So I'll see you later, yeah? You're going to the library. Okay. Bye. And an hour and five lap dances later, James comes out and he realizes it's his mum. Oh my God, yeah. A masked dancer comes over to you. When you got tits in your face going Ooh, like that. You know, you know, the, the money starts slipping out of the pocket. So, you know, put it this way, we want tits. 
at what point do you realize? Can you imagine the hangover fear of this? All the stupid things you say, but kept on film for the fucking BBC and your mum. James and the boys are back at one of their favorite bars, and Tony and Ornella are sneaking in through the kitchen, ready to pounce. Oh my god. Hi, James. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell? What are you doing here? Mate, that's that's borderline trauma, right? I don't have much to say. It just hurts physically. I've never felt so embarrassed in my whole life. You have been such a wonderful young man. You just want to punch her, wouldn't you? Just fucking kick her in the jaw. We saw you go into the strip club and. It's You're experimenting one, okay? with new things, yes. things that you've never done before. This is the worst thing ever, right? This is traumatic. I'm hating every second of it. I feel closer to my parents now that they've kind of shown me how much they love me and how much they see me enjoying myself. On one hand, I'm really pleased to have seen them, but on the other hand, I was a bit shy and a bit embarrassed, obviously, because they've seen quite a few things which I didn't expect them to see. Well handled. Yeah, he's a fucking champ. He's absolute champ. In Cumbria, only child Rob Watson... Got some tea. Is the centre of his mum and dad's life. Oh, you're so tired, <laughs> dear me. That's how you talk to your dog. Yeah. For Barbara and Richard, it's the end of family holidays and keeping a close eye on their baby boy. Be careful what you do drink. If you offered anything dodgy in a pub or a club, don't take it. Good. Good advice. Today, Barbara and Richard prepare to reveal their presence to Rob in a very different location. Rob has decided to spend his last day fulfilling his fantasy of watching a live strip show. Oh God, this went from zero to 100. Mum and Dad decide to make their move on Rob. They got a surprise about the Just as the stripper makes a move of her own. Oh no, go now, go now for the telly. Oh my God. Go now. Oh, my. <laughs> the look on his face is going to be unbelievable. I want to see the exact moment he realises. <laughs> oh, that's traumatic. While Rob is shocked by Mum and Dad's appearance, the stripper clearly isn't. What's she doing? That's my baby. Baba, <laughs> <laughs> look what your son's doing. No, I don't want to. <laughs> This is the worst thing I've ever watched. With Rob deciding to carry on with his lap dance, it's up to Mum to cool things down. Oh, like. <laughs> 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 You've seen it. <laughs> that is that is awful. That's the worst thing I've ever watched in my life. How do you get people to sign up for this? Oh. In Corby, Northamptonshire, Royal Marine trained fitness fanatic Reese is being given strict rules for his holiday from doting mum Vicky. Don't drink too much. I don't want you to be getting so drunk that you don't know where you are. Definitely no genitals on the. I don't want any bum shots or anything like that either. No swearing. It gives me the little doe eyes and always gets what he wants. <laughs> you getting the sexual tension here or is it just me? Yeah, a bit weird, isn't it? Gives you the doe eyes, does he? What's next? The doe balls. It's the dick. The shaft. The cock and ball. <laughs> what a great joke, James. Uh, just thought I'd drop in, boys, and let you know a bit of confidential information. As I'm sure you're aware, this channel has laid barren for many weeks now. Oh, he's doing nothing. Oh, I bet he's just sat at his fat ass. He's ran out of ideas, him. Now that is categorically not true. There's going to be a, a new video soon that we, we spent a bit of a while on. I can't feed the dogs. I'm beating what? the shit out of Will Any. <laughs> but also, I've been working on a bunch of new content with JD. Whenever you're ready. This is a big JD show. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need the comments. <laughs> I'm going Mac for us. Let's go. I've got to get the 98. My name's Sir Alex Ferguson. And I love... I love Manchester United. And Wayne. Wayne who? <sighs> Come on. You know which Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now hosting their channel for them and I need to prove my worth. Now, if you wouldn't mind, right, I need as many of you to go over to that channel after this video is done and press subscribe and maybe comment. You made the right decision hiring Will because um. I don't think they did it for how I look in a tracksuit. I'll be using my JD black card to buy subscribers a bunch of free stuff. So if you like free stuff, subscribe. And, uh, and anyway, on with the video. Going on holiday with Reese are three of his closest mates. 
Prankster Stuart. Fucking Stew! Beefcake Miles. Beefcake Miles! Reese has a girlfriend of six months, Amy. Oh, cheat, cheat, cheat. Six months is now, you can still legally get away with it then. Oh my god, well. The girlfriend does look a lot like the mum. Sensing the lads are new in town, a fellow reveller has some holiday advice. Where are you from, where? Cornby. Cornby. Yeah. Boys, what you need to do is step up to the plane and go, Beto! Magaluf 2010 Pussy Smashers! Whose dodgy uncle is that? Oh my god. He is sweaty. He is a sweaty man. Best messes in the whole wide world. Oh. Ready? Why is he back? <laughs> He's got out with them. <laughs> I love that. Listen, this is not what Magaluf is like. Yeah, we is. are actually normal people and we live here. We've been here and for two hours here. and this is what it's like. These are pure dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. Oh, he has, seems to have sexual tension with absolutely everyone. But they are about to be confronted with footage of what their kids have been getting up to. Oh my oh, who, God. Who is that? That's my son. <laughs> <laughs> That's the alcohol. No, really? I'm not used to seeing him like that, so it's not nice. Out of control. Mm. Yeah, not used to him having these boxers on still. So sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, well. As Reese promised he won't kiss any girls, he finds other options. Knew it! Knew it! We knew that was happening. See that a mile off. There's no shortage of other female admirers. Sam, we got Sam <laughs> But Reese insists he's been faithful. <laughs> he's not got one yet. We're just I didn't one. Sam. I did nothing. They got my cock. Fella, they caught you in four kit. Well. 240p. There's a good four pixels on my screen right now. Hopefully we'll find the HD version if I haven't, sorry. The parents are bracing themselves for their children's latest exploits. Are you looking forward to this? No. <laughs> oh my God, it's even worse this time. She was unhappy with them just doing press-ups. <sighs> Maybe guys, look. <laughs> look. You cannot show that to a mum. He's got a thing about his willy, isn't he? Oh God, I haven't seen it since he's about 10. <laughs> Bollocks. Oh, I swear I haven't seen it. I've not seen it at all. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> She's good. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Oh, oh but it is quite... Oh, I got enough. My boy's all grown up. Vicky and Pete are about to confront Reese. Oh, God. And after oh, his God. antics this week, it might be a rough ride. Ah! Do you have a nice holiday? We've been watching you ah! all Everything. week, all of you, every single thing <laughs> that you've got up to, I've been watching. Do you know what I've seen this week? Your willy! I'm on holiday, like, of course I'm gonna drink. They were showing me footage of that and I was in tears because <laughs> all I saw was you laying in the middle of the road. But she's fine with the cock. She loves the <laughs> We can't keep joking about this. First thing that you should say to me is, what is it? Sorry for being a twat. Yeah, and all of you actually should apologise. Oh, you, you fuck off. You've not got anything over the other kids. No, they don't owe you anything. I've seen everything. And I've seen way too much of you, son. Do you reckon they censored it for her? I was thinking that. I don't know if they've had they had time to censor it. Debbie and Dave are preparing to reveal themselves to Andy. As the boys have a few drinks at their hotel bar... <laughs> I'm sorry! He's just snuck on for a free holiday! He's divorced with two kids. How will he cope with the shock of his life? What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are you doing, man? Because you're just fucking mugging off in front of thousands no. of people. No, it's not. Not at all. It is. Not at That'd all. Silly, mate. What the fuck? What's going on? Andy, Andy, Andy listen. You've had a good time. No, I don't give a fuck. We I don't give a fuck. Anything. Coming across like a bit of an arsehole, but I'm surprised not many more people have had that reaction. Yeah, especially because it's just like, it is just being mugged off in front of thousands of people. There's no other way of going about it. The realisation that his parents have watched him all week is too much for Andy, and he feels particularly let down by his mum. No, because I told you from the I told you. Well. Calm down. I'm not fucking calming down. Calm down, please. Shit. Do, do me, Andy, Andy, just do me a phone. Can we have a chat? Just me and you. All right. <laughs> what a way to end it! That's the end of this Will and Jim episode. We hope you've enjoyed. Please go and subscribe to James, subscribe to me, and we will see you guys later! Bye! Bye.